I didn't even know this was possible in Power Automate, but you can have two lists where if I have fruit farmers and veggie farmers, and they're both the same farmers, but I want to match on an ID and then take the properties from one and put them on the other. I found a way to do this that doesn't use any apply to each or messy if conditions, and you can expand on this and match on two different columns if you want, or do like a contains, the sky's the limit on the matching. I'm gonna show you this technique now. To match on our IDs from our fruit farmers all the way to our veggie farmers, well, we're gonna need to put all this in XML format. And then we can begin the fun of taking a property like favored hat and adding it to the appropriate match. Like Cabbage Kidman and Great Bonsai are both 37. Step one to putting this in XML format is we need a new compose statement. And you just do open bracket, close bracket, and then in here, type in the word root. And then another set of brackets. It's pretty, it's just an object and an object. And in here, we're gonna call this property array. And then we're going to select our previous compose of fruit farmers. And let's name this fruit farmers root. The next step is to make another compose. And this time we're gonna actually put it in XML format. So if we go into our functions and look for XML, and then we can go into dynamic content and pick the root from earlier, click add, and let's hit save and see what this spits out. So if I come up here and test it, if I scroll down to my results, I get all this XML gobbledygook. But there's a site called xpather.com, and I can go in here, paste it, click this format button, and then I can start to query this. For instance, I wanna select the fruit sold property where the ID equals 43. Real talk, I don't really know XPath XML that well, but ChatGPT does. So what I can do is copy this, hop into here and say, from this XML, write XPath to select the fruits sold property where ID equals 43. So it gave me this code, which I'm just gonna steal. And then if we go into here and I paste it, it didn't really do anything. If you do a little Googling, you will get there, but the problem here is it doesn't need single quotes. And then boom, I was able to select that. So let's see what this selection would look like in Power Automate. If we hop back here, I'm gonna do a quick little compose sanity check. If I come in here and hit the expression and I'm gonna do XPath and I have to select my source, which is my farmer's XML space. And then I am going to just copy this and then throw it right into here and click add. So now our results, if we open it, it is boom, there it is. But it's an array. So to get around that, cause we just want text, is if we open this and at the very end do the question mark and then put a zero to select the first item in the index. Also, if you don't put a question mark, it still works, but the question mark makes it optional. So if it finds nothing, it's not gonna crash. Click update. And boom, this one is now pure text. All right, the main event. Let's give all of these farmers their right hats. So we know how to snag on ID. So now we're gonna use add property. So what I went ahead and did is I took our veggie farmers and then just added the exact same thing we did the fruit farmers where I created this root object. And then I went into here and created the XML just like we did earlier. And we're gonna use a select statement here. And it's a little tricky, but once we get it right, oh, we're on the gravy train. I'm gonna click the function expression and I'm gonna put in add property and add property to what? To my item. Item simply refers to one of the items in my original list. And then what am I gonna call it? I'm gonna call it not favorite hat, but fave hat just to separate them. And then I need to do my XPath expression of selecting 
from the veggie farmers, the matching ID, and then the hat property. So this is gonna get a little bananas. So I'm gonna open it in here. Make this simpler to understand. If you did something like this, where you just selected the original item ID and you add it as a property for favorite hat, if you pasted that here and hit update, your result would be here's the original and then here's fave hat and it just took ID and put it here. Now, if we went back here to our original example and we tried to work off of that, so I'm gonna paste it here. Let's change this to veggie farmers. This needs to be favorite hat. And obviously this is no good because it's hard-coded. So if we use this expression called concat and we wrap it around here and then let's separate it starting from the number, we're gonna add a comma and then we're gonna resume it right here. Now instead of 43, we're gonna come up here and select item ID, pop it into here. And then let's take this whole thing and then we're gonna replace it right there. So the final expression looks like this. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna copy it, and I'm gonna select the add property expression. I'm gonna replace it with what we have, hit update. And if we run it, moment of truth, let's open that up. Here's the original, and then boom. Melon Musk wearing a top hat, and then Drew Starberrymore is null because there's no 50 ID in here. And then all the other ones match up well. That is pretty nifty, especially because we're not using any apply to each. This runs like, look at that, like butter. Now watch how crazy we can get. We just matched an ID, pretty simple. What if we wanted to match on ID and also the name? or maybe not a direct match, but maybe the name contains one from the other. If we wanted to do that, ChatGPT helps us a lot again because I can take all this and then I'm gonna hop back into here. So right X path where ID equals 43 and name contains Tom. Paste that in there to help it out. Now we know that's not quite right because first of all, we need to also select a uh, root. So here's the final version where array ID is 43 and contains name Tom. So you can also do where name equals, but contains, like you have a lot of options here if you wanna match on multiple keys. I will warn you though, this is gonna get a little insane because looks, this has single quotes and you have to escape them. So I'm gonna show you how you would use this here and it's not fun, so I hope you can avoid it. So here's what the expression would actually have to be. You take all this and then you separate it, but then, oh, this is the worst. Here, these single quotes, you have to escape them with these four. I try different ways to escape them. There might be a better way. If you know a better way, drop it in the comment. You wrap it around with another one here, and then, yeah, this will get you there. Super hideous. Other developers will hate you, but if you need something super performant, if we throw this right into here, it's gonna work. And if we look at our results here, you'll see that Melon Musk got the match and then nobody else did because Melon Musk is the only one where the ID matches plus his name appears here. If you want the source code to all of this, um, I'm gonna put it in the description. There's a link if you wanna snag all of this yourself and play with it. There's also a free training on Power On Me as well as Power Platform in general and how they interconnect. It's really neat, it's free, please check it out. And big shout out to Polly M who originally laid the groundwork for this and I just ran with it.